to my channel. I'm sorry for disappearing for a while. I have been very sick because of this pregnancy, but hopefully I'll be back on the roll soon. But today I'm going to be reviewing a couple of, and sorry if I'm not like talking loud, my throat is destroyed. <clears throat> But no, today I'm going to be reviewing a couple of products I picked up at Walmart that I never tried before. Like drugstore products. I don't see how you guys do hauls because buying makeup is expensive. So if you can tell me how you guys like shop in bulk, please let me know. But no, we are going to... I never tried any of these products before except like one. And that's because I couldn't help myself. But I'll explain that in a minute. But I have Milani Blush, which I never used before. So I'm excited to use that. A Milani lipstick and I have used this brand before in lipstick but not that shade I just bought that with this these products the Maybelline volume express rock the rocket mascara I never used this either and this is my first um like what do you call it like pretty much when you bake on your eyes yeah this is my first one it's the Big Brighten set from Hard Candy, and it is in shade Banana. So, I'm going to, oh, and I have an eyeliner. I opened out of the package just to look at it. It is the Wonder Wing eyeliner from Ramel, Ramel London. So, we're going to see how these work. And hopefully they're good because these were, I mean, they're not, okay, they're not expensive, but they're, I don't know they're a little pricey but let's get started okay so I went ahead and I did my eyes because I don't do I don't do my face before I do my eyes because my reason I mean everybody's different everybody puts on makeup different but my reasoning is I don't want to mess up my foundation and everything I've worked on under you know as I'm doing my eyes so I just used a simple you know a simple little one color and I think I yeah I used cake mix out of my Jeffree Star blood sugar palette with my Jeffree Star brushes and I'm going to try to put in the description the link to the review on this and the review on these and I also used this as face primer so I'll put the link to that review also below and let's see what am I starting next all right so I guess what's on my eye products I think I only have two eye products so I'm gonna try this wondrous wing now it says that it's like there's like a stamp tool which I didn't know that I thought it was just like an awesome pen because that's useful but this says there's a stamp tool and I'm not sure if I can trust it but we're going to try it so turn this light on. Doo -doo. Oh, let me try this. Uh, okay, so far I'm not I'm not liking the pigment. It looks really watery. I don't and I've been shaking it up so I don't understand what's going on. I kind of don't like this so far. I've never used this one before, but I mean, we'll see. It's in like the blackest black, so I'm not sure why it's not wanting to show up. And then let's try the stamp tool. This is awkward. <laughs> Let's see, am I doing it? Okay, there we go. No, this is awful. Absolutely awful. You can't even use the stamp tool like they said you could. Y'all see how like fair that is? I mean, yeah, it's easier to draw, but like, I don't, it's not dark black at all. It's very watery. 
Like, it's almost like a gray. And I don't understand why. Draw the line and stamp to flick. I guess... Okay, one second. No, this is not turning out good. I mean, it's like a smoky gray. It's not black like it said it was. It's a little watery. And also when I went to Walmart, they said the only reason why I got this was because they said it was 50% off. And I went to the checkout and it was full price for like $5.97. This is not worth $5.97. <laughs> and my husband's just like, oh, whatever, just go ahead and get it. I'm like, but it made me mad. Because I didn't want to pay full price for it. But he was like, oh, it's okay. It wasn't that he was like being real sweet at the moment. He was just angry because our toddler was having a meltdown. And he really didn't want to fight it. Because I was just going to ask him to come over there and be like, hey, this said it was 50% off. And they would have been like, oh, I got you, fam. And probably, you know, fixed it. But no, my husband's so impatient. So he didn't want to wait for that. So we had to spend more money. But I guess it's his fault. But I'm gonna fi I'm fixing to try the mascara, and I'm just probably boring because like I don't have any background music because you know copyright reasons. But let's shake this thing up and see how this goes because the wand looks. Oh, I didn't even show y'all the wand. Well, it's all black now, but this is what the wand looks like. It was pretty in pink. Wish I could have showed you before I destroyed it. But, you know, mistakes happen. I've been making them all day. <laughs> but yeah, let's just try this out. I like that sound. Do y'all like that sound when you, like, take your makeup wand out of the mas you know, mascara thing? Like... Alright, let's see. I already curled my lashes. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. All right, for drugstore mascara, that's not bad at all. Hmm. Okay, I like that. Well, I think I have enough product on here to do the other eye. And I like the way it feels. It feels very smooth and like it's just easy to put on. really nice I like thicker wands and brushes because I feel like they do more justice in my opinion I don't like the really thin ones oh yep this is nice you can get a lot of coverage and go into more places but see not bad not bad I think this was also like five <sighs> 560 something 590 something I don't know but yeah this is nice I'm gonna give you my total approval at the very end I'm not gonna go ahead and do that now I'm like my hands burning I don't know it's like weird my skin's burning I don't know what from all right then I think next is and so I'm trying to like get back into the flow of like making videos so if I'm a little choppy I apologize oh do I Okay, I thought like I blinked and I felt the mascara, but I'm a little choppy, so forgive me. But next, we are going to do these four. But let me put my foundation on real quick, and then we are going to go with the rest of the products. Now that we have our foundation on everything, I'm going to bake. Now, this is my first time doing this, but I've seen plenty of gurus do it so I'm just gonna keep practicing but let's see hmm. I like that probably need to wet my sponge next time which I was just doing a dry test run because I didn't know if it was going to act weirdly with a wet sponge but I can see it would probably be so much easier let me 
Let me go try that real quick. I'm gonna wet my sponge. So it's not too bad. I mean, I got like a yellow tint to my skin now, which I really don't think this is for. I don't know what skin tone is supposed to be for because it is yellow. Like the setting powder is yellow. So I don't know. I don't think that would look good on any skin tone if it was like based on the color because I don't think anybody wants their skin to look yellow. But let me just kind of even it out with some foundation because those a little, a little rough. But no, I like the matte setting too. It makes me feel really nice. But I'm going to get the universal shade next time. But see, my I asked my husband, I was like, which one should I get? Banana or universal? And he was like, banana. Because I guess he thought it smelled like bananas. So I was like, oh, okay. No problem. Because I thought it's like the only two shades they had. And I got it thinking maybe it does smell like banana. Because I think Jeffree Star's setting stuff, setting powders, have a scent to it. So I was like, let's try it. And it ended up not... <laughs> being the case at all so there's that it, oh yeah it smells like it smells like chemicals so don't worry about sniffing it it's not gonna do you justice but next with my let's see JS2 brush we are going to apply the Milani blush in shade 01 romantic rose it looks like that so I hope it's pigmented. I have not tried it, but it looks really pretty. Let me see. There we go. Show it up now. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's actually a really nice color. It's a really soft, you know, blush color. Now, <clears throat> I asked my husband, hold on. I asked my husband, I showed him like two shades I was looking at in the Milani blush. I was like, which one would you go for? And there was, I mean, they were kind of the exact same color, but like one had shimmer and this one was matte which he picked this one he was like I like that one the other one just looks ugh I'm like oh thanks babe but yeah I like that blush need to even this out a little bit more but other than that I went a little too harsh on that one but yeah I think we are done with the blush and the baking next we are going to do the lips which I'm going to add highlighter off camera and then do the lips. I applied my Miss Rose highlighter from Wish. I did a video about this. I will try to put the link in the description. And I used my JS4 Jeffree Star brush. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so this is, I have three, no. Now I have four Milani lipstick shades. And this one is in shade Matte Innocence 06, no 60. I was reading it in the ha. But no, um, I'm gonna do a review on Milani period in my next video. So I'm not gonna get too in depth in like in depth with the Milani aspect. But I'm gonna try this. Oh, it smells so good. Okay. Because, like, in this one, it's really about, like, what it looks like. Not too much detail, so I can do other videos. But let me try this. This is what it looks like. It's really nice. It's smooth. Doesn't have hairs on it. I mean, it's just perfect. So perfect. Let me try it. I have, like, a problem with chapped lips, so hang on. I hate, I hate my lips. Especially during pregnancy. It's so much worse. Okay, now let's try it. Ooh, so smooth. So I'm not sure how like long this video is going to be, 
but hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Sorry if I stumbled a lot. I'm trying to get used to doing this again. I'm trying because like I'm hoping that if I do this more, like the baby won't let me think about getting sick. So I won't be like, oh, I feel nauseated. And then the baby's gonna be like, oh, you gotta get sick. I was like, ah, you're right. But cause speaking of, I gotta call the doctor here in a few minutes. But but no, this I am going to rate out of one at one out of five. I'm gonna give it a four out of five, just because I don't understand why they would make this shade. And like, if you're in like the more, cause I'm a light olive, but if like if you're in more in the darker skin tones, you know maybe y'all tried it and it works for y'all. But for the lighter skin tones. I mean, you just gotta be careful. You can't be too harsh on the padding. Make sure you do brush it off with a brush, um, just so you don't look yellow. And but yeah, when they said the shade was banana, they were not kidding. This is this is yellow. So four out of five with that. Um, on the mascara, I'm gonna have to say I mean five out of five. I had no issues with it with it. I really like the size of the brush. I like the size of the handle. You know, I like everything about it. It's just perfect for me. And well, for, for that price too, that's really good. For the lip gloss, I'm gonna have to give it a five out of five. I really like it. I really like the color, it's really pretty. If you wanna use the lip gloss by itself, that'd be awesome. You know, it's, it's a gorgeous color. It caught my eye right away. And I think it was $4.97, so it's not like too, too expensive. The Milani lip shade, in this specific shade, I would have to say 5 out of 5. I know I'm like giving a lot of high ratings because it's really hard to disappoint me. But no, I really like the shade. Um, it's really pretty. It goes with anything. Um, you can even wear it by itself if you want to, if that's your thing. But I think it's a pretty neutral shade for all shade, you know, shade ranges on like skin tones I think it's just really pretty for everybody so it's like it's a cute universal shade and I appreciate that I love nudes for that reason but and like the Milani blush I think that's the last no the mascara no eyeliner is the last one but for the Milani blush I'm gonna have to give it a four out of five it's really hard to get it to stick on to the actual brush and you have to like layer it a little bit to have that beautiful blush look. But other than that, I really like the design. I'm gonna go into more details about this in my Milani video, so I'm gonna try not to say too much. But yeah, other than that, I really, I really like this shade. It's really pretty. And last, but very least, um, the <laughs> Wonder Wing Eyeliner. I don't like this. I'm going to be honest. I'm really pissed off that they made me pay full price for it because they did say it was 50% off um, Walmart in Nashville on Charlotte Pike. But no, I just, I mean, yeah, you see it's on my eye and it was really easy to like create the wing, but I do not appreciate how it said it was supposed to be like black and it's a charcoal gray and it's very watery no matter how many times I've been shaking it up. So and you can't use a stamper. I don't know what they're talking about. It doesn't work. You know, I'm just going to keep shaking it up and see if that works. But I'm going to give it a, I don't know if I already gave my rating, but I'm just going to say two out of five. I was very disappointed, but I'm going to still use it because, you know, I paid for it. So why not? But yeah, I think that rated everything. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, I did. So that is what I rated out of all the stuff I bought at Walmart. Thank you guys for watching. If this is a little lengthy video, I hope that you will take the time to watch it because, you know, if you have nothing to do, watch my videos. That'd be awesome. But I'm going to try to get back into it. Like I said, look forward to the next video. It's going to be Milani only. So I'm going to be talking about the Milani makeup, how I feel about it, review it, and just go into details about it per a request by a friend so yeah look forward to that video I can't wait to make that video so I think I can't even speak I'm trying I'm trying like I said a thousand times I'm trying to get back into the flow of things and it's really hard when you haven't done it in a while because I think it's been like three weeks since I made a video well no I filmed a video two weeks ago it completely failed so it's lost in oblivion 
But thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell for more. And I can't wait to make more videos. And I will see y'all later. Bye!